been taken to somewhere secret? What is this place? Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in the Spiny Critters RP. And as you can see behind me, we've got our big old new building. We've got something over here, some crazy looking purple thing. And obviously we have got updates to do with Dog Day, obviously, and some other cool stuff. So with that being said, Let's head into Dog Day's house because I've been told there is an update and one of the biggest things is the sofa has changed. As you can see, it's now a little bit smaller and I don't even know if it... Oh, I think it does still fit actually three people on it, which is pretty cool. And also the picture frames have changed. So we've got obviously different styles and different images of themselves. It almost looks like they're meant to be badges that you kind of walk into. But putting that aside, we've got ourselves the basement still, which we can't get into. Everything else here looks pretty awesome and pretty much the same. Although the front of Dog Day's house is there. You got the crew all together. Is there anything new upstairs? Well, we're just in the house because at this point in time, I feel like more may have changed without me knowing and looking around and up. Uh, yep, yep. Clearly, the most important one is still there. But another quick look around. What have we got? Everything that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Ah, yeah, that, that's almost like the badge. I'm pretty sure that is the badge. Plushy. Okay, so everything else in the house looks pretty much the same. And obviously, the most important part is still there, so that's all good. Now, I've just realized entering the game, we have got Unsurprise in with us at this point. I wonder if we'll actually see them. We'll just see if they appear out of nowhere and maybe TP me to somewhere crazy. What I want to showcase at this point is... Well, with Dog Day, I do believe you have to still do the same quest, but it's tweaked ever so slightly. So this is where you put the bone in the bowl. So what you need to do is head out the back through the back door, which will then take you to the back of Dog Day's house and you will have the shovel. So you pick up the shovel and like last time, you want to just, I think the quickest way will be to teleport to the mountain. Now, what's different from what I've been told is instead of going over here, which I think the hole might still be there from the previous one where you had the bone literally here in the mound that you could dig up with this shovel. Well, it's changed to be over the other side. Now, where I've put myself as a bigger size, I seem to be running a little bit slower. So as we get over here, you will see that there's a whole bunch of bones here, nope. which if you go into a server, you might find that there is a rock here, which you just need to dig up. Or maybe some dirt. It's one of the two. And then once you get inside there, you can pick up a bone, which you then take back to Dog Day's house, which again, you can teleport to make things real quick, just like so, and go through. And as you can see, we're going to go through and plonk this in the bowl like so, and watch what happens. So like that, if you've already got Dog Day, I don't think you need to do this, but just to show you, that is how you now get Dog Day from this update going forward. So if I go to the morphs, Hit on dog day. What we will find is we've got the face and actions. Very similar to what we had with catnap. So I'm really hoping for some really cool stuff. So let's go into the actions. We got ourselves the sit, nice. which looks pretty cool. Looks very happy. And we've got ourselves the lay command, which, oh, look at that. It's just as adorable as catnap. Oh, look at that. He's just having a little nap. Although, can you change the face? Oh, you can. You can change the face while it's laying down. Uh, although, annoyingly, we've got a lot of people by us, so I can't really see what's happening. Although, we are having a little group nap, which was actually super adorable. So, bringing myself up to here, let's have a look at some of the faces and go back to normal, which is this one. We got angry, which looks pretty good. Sad, I guess, or maybe shocked. We got the happy or the feeling silly kind of face. Look at that. That's brilliant. Although, we can quite easily put the uh, teeth out as well happy but also the eyes closed that's pretty cool whoa what the i think i just got tp to wait where's this oh wait what the have i just been taken to somewhere secret what is this place this is from the trailer this is actually amazing oh look at this this is so cool so there's like an actual picnic area this means i can actually showcase everything without people Kind of getting in the way so we can get a really good look at what we got. So I think with that being said, we've actually now had a look at all of the different faces from this new version of Dog Day, which is so cool. And especially this area, I'm quite interested to explore what's here because I was not expecting to be pulled out over here. And I'm actually a little bit in awe of just what we've got because there's plenty of other stuff to check out in the update, but... Yeah, it looks like this small little area is somewhere around the map. Um, I'd be quite curious to try and find where this is in the game. 
once I've left this area. Obviously, we've got the new building, which is a smiling cafe. So I'm going to just quickly teleport to, I think, the closest place is the mountain. And I'm going to actually, may I say that, I'm going to reset myself back to normal just so... I can uh, make sure I can fit everywhere, see everything, and just make sure everything's all good. So just like that, we've TP'd back to normal. I can see the new building is just up here. So it used to be like a picnic area with a few slides. I mean, that's how I've always referenced it. And uh, I can see they've added these little extra pieces here. And also they mentioned that they've added grass in certain places around the map. So I can't remember if these grass particle pieces were here before or not. But hey, you're going to have to let me know. Because at this point in time, I'm too excited to see what this place is all about. And uh, clearly, this is the fanciest of the fanciest restaurants in this game. Clearly, because it's the only one that's here so far. And look at this. I don't actually know if we can do much with here, but hey, nice little fire pit out the back. And running around, uh, we got another floor. Oh, we can go up the first floor. And is it much different? Wow, look how many people this place can see. I mean, I'll be honest, this is much more useful than the last one we had. That little, uh, like, slide picnic area. But I will say, I do kind of miss the slides a little bit. Just a little bit, because... At this point, it'd be really cool to have a slide to be able to get down pretty quick from up here. Oh, I can jump off the edge <laughs> without hurting myself, which is good. And I can see people are following me to get away from here. But this is, as you can see from the side at the top, the Smiling Cafe, which is a really nice addition. Now, if you saw the video we did yesterday, you will notice that the house or the building that I kept mentioning that had been there for a while saying it was going to open at some point, whenever that was going to be. And you will see that they've actually pushed out the new building that we had some screenshots for uh, literally this morning. And it's now the shop. And obviously it's still not open yet. But you know what? With these buildings, we've got our ways through and ways around them, haven't we? We want to see what's inside. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a fly and then do this. And then, um, yeah, hopefully... I can toggle it and just go through the door as if it was open and... Wait, really? what? Did they know that I was going to come into here? Because look! You stupid... I can be rigged. Look at this. What is this about? Although, I will say, this is pretty cool. This is clearly a work in progress. And unlike the last building, you can go inside it. I mean, we've got a working fan with a light... Uh, you can get Rick rolled by staring at that. I'm going to just assume that's for me and anyone else that manages to get through the like the building, through the walls. If you run up to this spot here, just in front of Rick Astia, it opens up the shop menu. So this is quite cool. So there's actually some scripting or some logic for it to work in this area. And I can see at the moment, I, I've pretty much got everything from here. So there's nothing new for me to buy. But the fact that the script works to uh, open up the shop might mean... The button at the bottom of the screen for the shop might actually end up disappearing. That's just my kind of thought. I think it might actually end up disappearing in one of the future updates when this becomes fully opened. I'm wondering if there's going to be an upstairs in like maybe the final products and what else they're going to have inside. Maybe they have some UGC items. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. If you can buy all like the catnap heads, dog day heads to be able to use in other games, I think that'd be pretty awesome. But this leads on actually quite nicely to maybe not the last thing to check out, but definitely... One of the coolest things, in my opinion, which is uh, when you're standing near Dog Day's house, you will probably hear there is some kind of eerie noise. Yeah, that's right. Instead of that annoying flower that people seem to keep, like, pressing the button for and doing this, which gets really, really annoying and makes you insane. Well, it's not that. There's actually something else here which is pretty cool, which if you can see just up there, it looks like a small portal or maybe a black hole. Now, I can see this tree is absolutely loving life and does its little, like, leaves off or something. But look at this. I don't actually know. We can't get close to it at the moment. Uh, it just makes an eerie noise. And I have been told, which is something that's pretty cool, is with this up there is it will start to grow in size as we're getting closer to the space update. It's almost going to be like an indicator for when that massive space update with Cartoon Hoppy and everything else is going to be released because this is going to get to a certain point where I think you'll be able to run into it and teleport through. But that just seems odd. I wonder. I wonder if I go up to it. Can I go through it now and maybe go to the game early? Is, is that something that's possible? I don't know. I think we should give it a try. So maybe we'll just head into it really slowly like so. And uh, uh oh. How oh, rude! I just got oofed. I saw there was meant to be a hint of it being tweaked or changed or updated. But now I clicked on it. I've just realized 
This whole menu, this whole morph menu is so different. It's been updated. So you've got an icon up here. Oh, oh, okay. It actually makes a sound. And another one here. Ah, that's so adorable. It's a cat meowing. Ow, and it's different each time. Okay, so I've clicked that enough times. I have no idea what melody that's meant to be. Guys, if you know what it is, click it yourself. Listen to it. If you know what the song is meant to be, do share it with me because I'm quite keen to hear what it's meant to sound like or what it's meant to be. I'm pretty sure that we went to that picnic area, right? You guys remember that. I showcased the rest of the emotions of Dog Day in the picnic area. I don't know if you can get there normally. So I'm just going to have a really quick look. To try and figure out where it is. And then once we've got there, that might be able to help with trying to direct you guys on how to get there. But I have a strange suspicion it's probably well outside of the map like that. I can see it's all the way over there. So I think, honestly, you can only get there if Unsurpriser, which is still in the game, or myself or maybe someone else, will be able to kind of take you over there with them. So, guys, if you like, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you've done so many, it's super appreciated. And we will catch you in the next video. Remember to boot the snoop! Bye!